that doesn't look good. Oh gosh. Well, just kidding. We are. It's one of those days, y'all. It's one of those days. Really good. Have I steered you wrong before? No, I have not. I have another good idea. Why are you telling all the bad stuff? Other than two broken, we're doing good. Okay, y'all. New week. Ah, uh, crazy hair. Um, yeah. Got a lot going on this week, honestly. Just stuff. Something like every day. But that's good. Rather be busy than not, I guess. <laughs> uh, we got to go put out some hay this morning. And he's got to go pick up a tractor and drop off another tractor. So we had a, um, what was it? Some kind of leak on the 4320, one of the 4320s and um, my 4440 has something wrong with it. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know all the technicalities. I'll figure that out later. So our friend Jimmy does, um, does the work on attractors that Lawrence can't do. So he's going to pick, pick up and then drop off and get that done, try to get the drag put together today. It's too wet. It's way too wet to actually use it yet. So we had seven, uh, I don't know. I want to say maybe like an inch and a half of rain over the last few days. It's been, been pretty wet. And yesterday was horribly windy, which is good for drying up the rain. Um, luckily trees didn't come down. Well, they probably did but not here at the house that we know of. So, anyway, here we go. Sun's shining. It's supposed to rain again this week, I think, but today is supposed to be nice, so we'll do what we can while the sun is out. And it's about time, y'all, to mow some weeds. But first, I gotta pick up limbs. <laughs> Look at this volunteer barley. This is from last year, this one little patch over here. Well, it's kind of crazy. He said it's just going to see if it puts out a head. He's not sure that it will, but it's a pretty little patch. And the the hay fields, the, the small hay fields that he put the um, nitrogen on are really starting to green up too. So, yay. Just a little bit of standing water this morning. <laughs> Good morning. <sighs> Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Woo! 
stars. Welcoming committee. Hello, Rusty. Hello, Bonnie. Yeah, somebody else must be in their kennel wanting out. Is that what it is? <laughs> come here, Rusty. Rusty. No, I only come when I want to. Well, guess what other season it is, y'all? It's spring, um, which means weeds yeah i hand weeded a lot the other morning but i'm gonna have to spray i'm gonna try to get on top of this before it gets absolutely out of control my hostas are coming up daylilies are popping out my iris is coming out it usually blooms around easter but um i think it's gonna be a little later this year because i think easter is a little early the snowball bush is blooming the, it started blooming before the leaves even popped out. Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. You're talking to me. Yes, you are. <laughs> How's school going? Okay. Put your head back inside. I'm coming in. Let's get rocking and rolling. Good gracious. Uh, this this camellia just was so beautiful. It's definitely on its way out. My hellebore, helleborus. I think you actually pronounce it hellebore. Have I showed these before? I can't remember, but they're my favorite. They are just, they're going wild. So, yay, I love spring. I got some ferns. The wind knocked over every single one yesterday. But, anywho, fern, fern, another one on the porch. <sighs> get some other plants here soon. It's still a little early. It still could frost too, and I know that. This happens every year. Right, Rusty? So I don't know. I haven't been here, but yeah, trust me, it does. It gets warm a few days. I get anxious. I buy plants, and then boom, it frosts and things die. So I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to restrain myself and not like get any annuals yet. Um, I might get some more perennials though. <laughs> rusty, Rusty, do not eat my fern. Rusty ate, um, he ate my whole ivy. I, it was long and trailing and um, it's gone. It's gone now. <laughs> it's gone now. Stop. He's a little tear actually, if you wanna know the truth. Slightly. He can be. Can't you rest? Yeah. Oh, gateways, gateways. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Okay. So we have a missing we have a missing dog and lamb again. They're not where we thought they would be. So we're going we're going to keep looking. Okay. Lost and found again. It's not your fault. It's Gus's fault. He's taking you, he's taking you places you shouldn't go. No more, Gus. No more. You can't be out with him alone anymore. Okay, moving on to other very fun things. Um there comes a point when uh, the pant the pantry, the pantry, we don't really have a pantry. We have a hole in the wall that I use as a pantry. Um, there comes a point where it just reaches the point of no return. And I just have to, to clean it out and throw all the things away. All the things that the children have said they wanted and then ended up not eating. Various assortment of cereals, chips. Well, actually the chips were some that were uh, donated, not from a viewer. No, this was, this was a long time ago at a gas station. Anyway, there's a story there, not a gas station. 
the tire shop. Anywho, uh, they've been sitting in there for months and they were like kind of different, uh, what's the word, flavors that weren't necessarily what the people here will eat. So anyway, this is what we're doing. Um, and it kind of creates, it creates a little tension and it's not exactly my favorite thing, but it's got to be done. And I'll feel so much better when it is done. So, happy day. Trash. That's trash. That's not. It's the only thing my son eats. So, yeah, this is our um, very sad excuse for pantry. <laughs> and I do my best to keep it as organized as I can, but it, it's, it's kind of a losing proposition. There's just, uh, without any shelves and such, it's just, uh, it just is what it is. So, we'll see what I can do. Perfect? No. Better? Yes. Okay, well, um, Meredith's Farm Uber service is back in action. So, Lawrence actually drove the tractor over to our friend Jimmy's. I, I didn't know he was doing that, but anyway... He needs some oil. So I'm going to find said oil in here somewhere. Behind the motor grater? Behind the motor grater. Oh, <laughs> that's the motor grater. Do you see oil? I don't see oil. Okay, mm, blind. As he says, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. <laughs> got, I got my shotgun. My girl riding shotgun. Why do you look so sad, Bonnie? So what was wrong with this one? Steering was leaking. All right. And you fix that. <laughs> We're just going to keep you in business. You did set it back up for fluid. Antifreeze, yeah. Okay, so I'll use some antifreeze. Right? This is the really, this is the really important one. Cause this is the one I drive. <laughs> oh, she drove it over. Uh-uh. No, this is mine. The, yeah, that's mine. I have a power shift. What's wrong with it? A couple of gauges and the lift needs adjusting. All right. Large All righty, thank you. He told me not to follow him, that he'd be fine. <laughs> well, just kidding. We are, uh, we are not going home yet. Bonnie just got a call and he said something's wrong with it. So he's taking it back and I need to come back and get him. So it started leaking again on the way home. So back it went. And now, talking to me. no, I'm talking to the people. Um, now we're checking on the, the mule, which Austin drove over here to Papa's house and ended up walking home because she said it wouldn't start back. It's one of those days, y'all. It's one of those days. Really hoping it just was flooded maybe. Oh no, she might have taken the key out and taken it with her, knowing her. Because she was scared somebody was going to steal it. <laughs> she did tell me that. Nope. Ain't doing nothing. 
Why don't you run a battery down and this is what it is? What happened? Did it come unplugged? <clears throat> oh, it needs tightening up. Oh, needs tightening up. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> Yay, that was an easy fix. Woo. We will take an easy fix. Won't we, Bonnie? Yes. Yes, we will. We're happy for that. Hey y'all, so I'm back in the kitchen and special thanks to the North Carolina Sweet Potato Commission for sponsoring this video. Coming at you with another easy, delicious, nutritious sweet potato dish that is gonna be a new family favorite and super easy to get on the table, perfect weeknight meal. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to share it with you. And like I've shared before, North Carolina is the number one sweet potato producing state in the country. And we hang our hat on that. This delicious, nutritious superfood is full of complex carbohydrates, vitamin A, fiber, and so many other goodies. It's the perfect addition to your diet. And here's another way to get it into your belly. Okay, all the stars of this show. A pound of ground beef. Some Southwest seasoning. I'm using musket powder, minced garlic, tomato sauce, Southwestern corn, or you could also use Mexicorn. You could use plain corn. Um, diced tomatoes. I'm using Rotel. You could use plain if you don't like that extra heat. Beef broth. A couple medium washed and scrubbed sweet potatoes. Um, a few mini peppers, half of a large onion, or a, a whole small onion, and a little bit of olive oil. All right, let's do this. Okay, once you've washed and scrubbed your potatoes, you're going to want to dice them into about a half inch little cubes, and then you're going to dice up your onion and your peppers, and you're going to saute your garlic and a little bit of olive oil. Once the garlic is fragrant and before it burns, <laughs> add your hamburger and let it cook until it's brown. Okay, once your hamburger's brown, drain it and put it in a plate or a bowl, and then add your sweet potatoes, your onions, and your peppers with another little bit of olive oil and saute these until they're slightly tender. Okay, they've been cooking, I don't know, eight or 10 minutes or so. You can see they're starting to get a little tender. Potatoes are starting to get a little brown, and now we're gonna add all the liquid and the tomatoes and the tomato sauce and we're gonna mix this up and we're gonna cover it and we're gonna let it simmer for about 12 to 15 minutes and it's gonna get those potatoes softer okay now we're gonna add our beef and our corn and stir that up and then <laughs> i almost don't have a have a skillet big enough here then we're gonna add our seasoning and we're gonna be good to go, y'all. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or so, or so, or so of my Southwest seasoning. This is um, Musket Powder Gold Label. But you could use any kind of Southwest seasoning. And I'm gonna taste it and add some salt and pepper or probably just a little salt. Okay, y'all, it's taste test time. You ready? Oh, wow. This is really good. It's really, really good. Have I steered you wrong before? No, I have not. You're gonna wanna try this. You really are. I am not even gonna add any, I'm not gonna add anything else. I'm not gonna add any more salt. I'm not gonna add any salt. It's perfect. I'm cooking some rice. We're gonna put it over rice. And we're gonna call it supper. Okay, y'all. Well, that supper recipe was amazing, but I'm coming in hot here with round two. It is spring and it is gonna be hot and it is gonna be summer soon. And spring and summer are great times to enjoy fresh, cool smoothies. And guess what? You can make an awesome berry smoothie with sweet potatoes. Yes, we're gonna do that right now. This is a recipe that is on their website. I will link to it 
in the description, um, but let me show you. Okay, so this recipe calls for a cup of coconut water that you put into your blender first and foremost, and then you got a cup of spinach that you're gonna try not to spill everywhere, okay? Got a cup of frozen berries. How pretty is that? A half of a frozen banana. Um, a cup, no, excuse me, a half a cup of sweet potato cooked and peeled, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and that's it, y'all. Mmm, that's good. It's very good. It's very refreshing. This is going to be awesome on those warm weather days when you just want something cool healthy and refreshing and it's also better in a mason jar <laughs> cheers okay supper's done and the boys are gonna get started on the drag dragging the drag out Woo, it's bright oh it's a lot of wires to get undone Oh, okay. It looks like a, I don't know what it looks like. Some kind of puzzle. Look how much this is greened up and popped out just from the cows being off of it for like, I don't know, four or five days. Many ladies and ladies. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They're all like hooked together. You can kind of see where some of, like this one is. Okay. I think I did something there. <laughs> Maybe. I'm putting that up. There. Okay. Okay, so that hooks there, and then that hooks to that. This isn't going to be so yeah, bad. Well, so we want that there so you can pick it up. Okay. we got to figure out which end is the front and which end the back. Okay, the front and the back. Well, this, this, is, this is the back, I would say that. Yeah, that's the front. Yeah. Because the time <laughs> is laid back. Mm. Now, if we want. And that's all the hooks that hook in the booth. Okay. Okay. I can't wait to see this bad boy yeah, go. Right there is where it's hooked. On something. Yeah, pick it up. Mmm, you can't. It's like all... Mm. It's all. Right straight up, but you just flip it over. Mm -hmm. And... It has a least aggressive side and a most aggressive side. Yeah. <laughs> he said... <laughs> Probably for dragging through the pasture like it is now. The one that's down now is the least aggressive. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes sense to me because it's slanted. The other one is straight down. Is it's that it's, is that right? It's, well, it's almost yeah. Okay, I'm just excited. This is actually coming together in my head. I'm actually understanding. <laughs> Good wide. job. It's very wide. It looks. Fifteen foot wide. Well, it looks wider than the bar. Is it not? Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it around. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it hooks on this side. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Well, maybe if we spread out three wide, we can flip it. I want to flip it. I want it on that side. Well, then move the tractor over here. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. I had another good idea. Yes! Okay. Enough butt to push it down. Huh? <laughs> you need me to stand on it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, just... You gotta get some clothes okay. put these remotes. We put it on backwards, but then we fixed it. <laughs> Why are you telling all the bad stuff? I'm not telling all the bad stuff, I'm telling all the true stuff. 
<laughs> there's, there's Everybody makes mistakes. Oh. Look in there. <laughs> Look in there. Okay, we're on a mission, another mission under here to find wrenches. Yeah, inch and an eighth. No, an inch and an eighth. This is it right here. That's what we need. Bunny! Ship is sailing. Your ship is sailing. Come on, come here. This, this is an adjustable wrench. I know this to be true. Neoprene. Good neoprene. What's the neoprene? I know if I told you, I'd have to answer more questions. <laughs> okay, this is how we learn when we ask questions. Yeah, lock nut. The lock, in the lock nut, okay. All right, we got it. As good as we can get it. We're missing I know what you're doing. We're missing chains that go in these holes and attach down What's here and lift it up. Because See per that? usual something we ordered didn't come yeah, with everything. Yeah, yeah, it, <laughs> it just never fails. There's always something. Always something missing, always something broken, always something something. But this is gonna be good, I think. I can't wait to see it work. I hope it works. All right, we're going to call it a day, y'all. A night and a day. It's been, um, it's been a decent one. Yeah. Other than two broken tractors and a partially equipped drag. We're doing good.